So let's talk about global variables and scope. This is a very important concept in programming, okay? Uh, and it's something that as you get deeper into kind of more complex programming, you'll use a lot more, okay? So let's talk about what global versus local scope is, okay? When you create a variable, that variable is only available within the body you created it in and any subbodies, okay? And that is what we call, re refer to as, as its scope, okay? So you might be saying, well, what does that even mean? Okay, so let's take a look at our, um, our example over here that we used for mouse press and mouse release. Let's say within this mouse press, I created a variable and I said X equals 10, right? I just created a variable called X. I stored the number 10 in it, fine, okay? If I tried to use this variable X outside of on mouse press, it wouldn't work, okay? I could not use this variable that I created in on mouse press down here in on mouse release. If I said something like, uh, let's do a circle and it's gonna be, we're gonna make this X, right? And it would, so we'd say, oh look, I created a variable here called X, it's storing the number 10. So there should be a 10 here now, right? Well, it's not gonna work. And the reason for that is that the scope of this variable X is only within the body it was created, right? So it only exists in on mouse press. If any other part of the program tries to use this variable, it will not see it, right? And we'll be stuck, okay? So scope is important because you can't share information between functions, right? And you also can't share something that's like way inside of a, a, a body of, of, pro, of code outside of that body, right? So it's important that you um, create your variables in the correct spots, okay? So there's something called global scope. Right, so if I were to take this same x equals 10 and I placed it instead up here, okay, outside of on mouse press, okay, now this would work, right? And the reason for that is that the scope of this variable is global, right? It was created in the main program, not in any bodies of code, right, that were indented over, okay? And so if you look at our definition, it says that variable scope is within the body you created it in and any sub bodies, right? This circle command is a sub body of the global scope, right? And that means that we can use the X variable, okay? That being said, global variables traditionally are frowned upon, right? They can create lots of problems and we try to make our, our variable scopes as specific as possible, right? Um, and you'll have to use some, some global variables, but you wanna to try to avoid them, okay? So you will see that you may run into issues if you create a variable in one location and you're trying to use it in another, they might not be visible to each other, 